So imagine the scenario. Guy goes online, finds a beautiful navy suit, has it delivered, tries it on, maybe has a few adjustments made, and that suit makes him look great. And what does he do with that beautiful, with that handsome suit that would get him compliments? He puts it in his closet and he wears it only occasionally at a formal occasion, maybe once, maybe twice a year. Guys, that is a mistake. And this is the biggest problem that I see with men with suits. A suit does not equal formal. A suit is defined as a pair of trousers and a jacket made from the same material. But there are ways to dress down a suit. There are many options. In today's video, guys, I'm going to outline five ways. I'm going to give you five different outfits that you can wear with one navy suit. Now, I'm going to link over to a support article. In that support article, I'm going to have infographics. I'm going to give a link to everything I talk about. I'm going to go into a lot more material, but we are going to have fun with this video because I'm going to link over to Grand Frank. They are kind enough to be the sponsor of this video. They've given me tons of different materials. And guys, I want you to go over there and in the comments down below, I want you to describe how you would style the perfect navy suit for you. Why I'm asking you to do this? Because let's just say I've got some accessories. I've got some items that I want to send to you. So, we're going to choose some winners. You have been asking me to identify a European brand with great prices. Grand Frank is that brand. So, guys, I'm going to have you go check them out. And the more details you go into from the exact suit types to the exact shirt types, talking about pocket squares, talking about the neckties, going to the accessories. They've got shoes down there. I want to see you go into all those details because like I said, I've got plenty of items here I want to send to you guys as a, as a thanks for checking out our sponsors. And without further ado, guys, you ready? Outfit number one, the classic formal navy suit look. This is going to be something that you can wear to a wedding, you can wear to any formal event up to black tie. And this is going to have the classic white shirt is going to be the foundation of this outfit. Then you want to look at a conservative necktie, maybe something in a dark blue, maybe a dark green. You can go with a red, don't go with a bright red, maybe go with a darker hue type of red. Then you want to go with a conservative pocket square, something that's not really going to grab a lot of attention. A linen or a cotton white square fold is perfect. Your dress shoes, you want to keep them dark and classic conservative. So, we're talking Oxfords in black, maybe, maybe Oxblood, maybe a dark brown. All of those work with that classic navy suit look. Outfit number two, the business casual navy suit look. So, we're going to take the first outfit and we're going to bring it down a notch. Now, one of the things is you can get rid of the necktie or you can keep the necktie and you can actually switch out the conservative necktie with something that's going to be a little bit more informal, something maybe from maybe made from cotton, maybe made from wool that has a textured weave, maybe has a unique design, maybe a square bottom. You could even bring in a fun bow tie. Now, the shirt, you can get away from the white dress shirt. You can keep it if you so choose, but at this point, you want to bring in a wide variety, in my opinion, of colors and textures. This one right here though, it's very nice. It's a light blue and from a distance, it looks like a light blue. But when I get up close, I see a beautiful textured pattern. The buttons are nice. I could actually go with contrasting buttons. So, on this outfit, you notice my pocket square a little bit louder and this is something I could actually pull off in a business cat. I would say, yeah, I would say business casual. We can definitely pull this off. Now, let's go and let's look at your shoes. So, you can start to have a little bit of fun with the socks. You can also start to bring us things like the double monk strap. All of these things start and allow you to have a bit more fun. You probably want to though keep those shoes relatively dark. Uh, I still think Oxblood's dark browns are going to be nice, but you can start to bring in broguing, have a little bit of fun, and that's the key with business casual. You can have fun, but understand your industry and don't push the bounds too much because that's what outfit number three is all about. So, outfit number three, the creative navy suit look. Now, I know many of you guys are wondering, Antonio, what is this outfit you have together? I have never seen you wear a shirt that loud. That's true. And believe it or not, I like this shirt. I like this look. Maybe it's not something I'm going to pull off all the time, but I feel I like this. It kind of reminds me of some of the pictures I saw my dad in the 1970s. But if you understand the history of florals, you know they go back thousands of years and that warriors used to adorn themselves with flowers. That's what I love about this is you are going to draw attention. You are going to draw compliments. You're going to draw perhaps some snide comments, but when it comes down to it, you have to have the courage to be yourself. And if this is a look you like, 
Well, why not rock it? Because you're going to look a lot better than a lot of these other guys just wearing jeans and a t-shirt and all that other stuff we say out there. The point being, guys, you can work your way up to something like this. There are many other options out there. I could have worn this one right here. This one has, it's a white background, obviously, from a distance, just looks like a pattern. But when you get up close, you start to see there's small flowers in there. There's, you know, I've got one here. And by the, I'm going to link over to Grand Frank because that's where all of this clothing is coming from. And this is the beautiful box that's some of their items come in, but this shirt right here, look at this. It's relatively a simple dot pattern, but wearing a shirt like this with a nice club rounded collar, this is going to be, it's going to stand out. Yet you can wear it with a suit like this and it's going to look great. Pair it with a simple or maybe a little bit of a pattern pocket square like this right here. All of a sudden have fun with your shoes. Maybe go with a really nice loafer, suede, or something like that. And maybe, you know, you're like, Antonio, there's no way I'm ever going to pull off a shirt like that. Well, then go with a classic conservative shirt and start small. All of a sudden, bring in, look at this beautiful necktie. I love this necktie. Again, the use of florals, everything with it. Guys, that's it about being creative. All of a sudden, you start to bring in watches that are a little bit, little bit different. Maybe you want to bring in jewelry. You want to bring in some rings. You want to bring in a necklace. This is where you really get to express yourself. At the same time, you're wearing a suit. You're looking good and you are having fun. That's the key with dressing creatively is being able to express yourself. Navy suit outfit number four, the hot weather look. Okay, so let's talk about wearing a polo with a navy suit. A lot of guys out there are like, Antonio, you can't wear a polo, a short sleeve polo with a navy suit. Well, yes, you can, especially when it's incredibly hot out there. The key is to get the right fabric. So a lot of you guys have cotton polos, and those are fine, especially if they have a gauze weave. That's going to be actually pretty breathable. But instead, look for a polo with a made from a performance fabric that's specifically designed to wick away moisture but actually has a bit of a sheen to it and has a very nice drape. That's going to look dressier and when tucked into the trousers and worn with a jacket over, it's going to look a lot better and I think is actually a great look. Now let's go down to the feet. No show socks. Those are your friend. Again, made from performance fabric, which is going to wick away moisture. You also want to look at your shoes. You want to go with something that's a little bit lighter weight. Moccasins or shoes that are made from a little bit more pliable of a leather. It's going to be actually more breathable. Maybe go with something a little bit looser. You do not want to have tight shoes or anything that's going to lace up all the way and basically suffocate your feet. So if you keep your feet cool, keep your core cool, you're going to be pretty good. But the last thing I would recommend is make sure on the suit that you're looking to buy, you get the most you can get with your money. And guys, that's why I'm really happy to have Grand Frank here. Under $300, they've got some great suits. When I was going through and I'm looking at their jackets, I'm going inside and I'm looking at the lining. I'm saying, okay, this is Bember. This, that's key because a lot of cheaper jackets, what they do is they use uh, they use an inner lining which isn't going to be breathable. Yes, it's cheaper. Bemberg's a little bit more expensive, but it's incredibly breathable. Outfit idea number five actually breaks one of my style rules, but if you have more than one navy suit, and this isn't just your go-to, then you have my permission to wear it as a separate. So we're all of a sudden talking about taking this jacket and wearing it with a pair of dark colored jeans, maybe bright colored chinos. You can take, you know, your navy trousers and wear them with a gray sports jacket, maybe bring in a dark green sports jacket. I don't know what you may want to do there, but the key is you start to combine it with other things in your wardrobe. Now, I've talked about this before. You have to be careful because if this, if this is your only navy suit, then this last outfit is probably not an option because I want you to keep them together because they need to wear, they need to be taken to the cleaners and they need to, I want them always to match because remember, that's the key component with a suit is that the trouser matches the the jacket. All right, guys, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Now, don't forget in the comments down below, go over to Grand Frank and style out how you would wear a Navy suit. I want to hear from you guys. I want you to go into great detail from the shoes, from the watch, from the pocket square to the jewelry, to everything that you would do the, the shirt, the exact style, the exact style of the suit. I want to hear those details because even if you don't win some of the things I have here to give away, you still win because you've thought through the process. You've explored how you could look and how you could present yourself to the world. And guys, by the way, Grand Frank has a great discount. I'm going to put the details to that down in the description of this video. But again, you thinking about this, you going out there and realizing there are many ways that you can style a Navy suit is going to get you to wear it more to get more, basically to get more value from that investment you've already made.
go check out the support article as well. I go have an infographic, I go into more details and link over to uh, you know all the things I talked about. That's it guys, see you in the next video.